Hi, everybody, and welcome to this set of lessons on using Google Docs as a productivity tool. Now, in this first lesson today, we're going to cover some of the basics around what Google Docs are, how you get access to them, and just some of the, the neat little features that you can find in Google Docs. But firstly, what are Google Docs? Well, Google Docs is a set of productivity tools that have been made freely available to all of us by the wonderful folk there at Google. And it includes a word processor, a uh, Excel type spreadsheet, and um, PowerPoint type functionality. Now, the other neat thing about Google Docs, though, is that there are loads of other applications that you can plug in uh, for everything from project management to drawings to um, document management. Now, why are Google Docs so great? Well, I'm going to show you a couple of reasons. So the first great thing about Google Docs is that they are free. You don't have to pay a cent to gain access to Google Docs. The second thing is that they are accessible anywhere. So if you have a computer, a laptop, or you have a smartphone, or you have a tablet, your Google Docs will follow you wherever you go if you have an internet connection. Another great thing about Google Docs is that they're very easy to share. And one of the strengths about them is that they are built for collaboration. So if you're working in a team of people and you need to work on the same document or the same spreadsheet or the same presentation at the same time, Google Docs has some really powerful collaboration functionality that I don't think any other platform offers. But there's more. Google Docs also is backed up by one of the best data clouds there is. What do I mean by that? Well, simply, your data is safe. If your hard drive crashes, if your laptop gets stolen, if you drop your phone into the water, your Google Docs stay safe. They are backed up by Google, and pretty much no one in the world does data backup and recovery like the folks at Google. So let's go on to actually having a look at what the Google Docs platform looks like. So let's take a look at the Google Drive interface. First thing you need to do is to open up your browser, and you go to a very simple address, drive.google. Dot com. Now, I've already set my little system up here to recognize the fact that there are some Chrome users already registered. And I'm going to be using this user here, mindsetlearn at gmail.com. I'm just going to click on him. And what you see happening, so all that I need to do is enter in my Gmail password. And it will sign me into my Google Drive interface. Now, I just want to show you a couple of key features about the Google Drive interface before we go into um, creating a new document. The first thing I want you to notice is this menu here on the left-hand side. The first two items are probably the most important items in the entire interface. The first item is called My Drive. And really, this is your own personal storage space for all the documents that you think are important to you, all the documents that you would like to organize in some specific way. The next item in the men menu is an item called Shared With Me. And very simply, what this folder is, is for all the documents that have been shared with you at one point or another. That's where they automatically go. So if my friend Bob down the road shares a Google Doc with me, that's where I'm going to find it. Now, the neat thing about Drive is that if I think Bob's document is worth keeping, then I can move it to my Drive, and I can organize it the way that my brain works. But we'll get onto that a little bit later. The first thing that I want to do, though, is how do we create a new document? Well, that is really, really simple. Take a look. You've got this big red button here called Create. So obviously, if you click on it, you're going to be able to create stuff. And here you can see all the different things that you can create out of, out of the box. So the first thing we're going to do is click on a document to so create a brand new document. Once it's opened, then think of this page like an ordinary word processor page with all the same functions. Now, we're going to spend a couple of lessons in the future looking at all those functions in specific detail. But for now, let's just type something at random. So you can see there, I'm not doing anything strange or different from what I do in Microsoft Word or OpenOffice. Simply use the keyboard to type in whatever you like. But now let's have a look at what we have to do to save this document. 
I want you to notice what it says up there. All changes saved in Drive. And look at that helpful message. Every change you make is automatically saved in Drive. That is one of the really nifty features about using Google Drive. You don't have to remember to save your work. Google Drive is automatically saving your work all the time. So let's have a look at what this document looks like now when I close this page and go back to my drive. So to go back to Google Drive, all I need to do is click on this big icon up here in the left, and that will take me back to my drive. And there you can see the new document that I've just created. Now, it's still titled Untitled Document because Google Drive doesn't really understand what's in that document, and so it's not going to, it's not going to give me a name for that document. I will have to name that document myself. Very, very simple to do. And I want to show you two ways of renaming a document. The first way is inside Google Drive to click on that checkbox on the left there. And from this menu here, there's a, a whole bunch of options here. And we'll get to those options in time. But the option I want to pull your attention to is this one, rename. Click on that and type in a new name. Click on OK. So nothing can really be much simpler than that. But you can also rename documents when you are in the document. Let's take a look. So obviously, to open up this document, all that I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it. There is my document. There is its name. Now you'll see as I hover over the document name, it highlights and a tooltip comes up saying rename. So simply click on the name, and you get the very same interface. Pretty darn simple, I think. Now, let's take a look at some other nifty features. I'm going to go back to Google Drive. And I'm going to open up someone else's document that they have shared with me. So it's still with in the Shared With Me folder. So I'm going to click on that. And here you'll see there's a folder here called Google Docs Videos. So that's the folder where I put all the scripts for this set of videos. Let's go into it and see what's there. Word processor is a folder within that. And I've got some extra folders inside that. And I'm going to click on Lesson 1. And there is a letter, a covering letter for high-tech systems that I want to do a little bit of work on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open that letter. And I want to rename this letter. I don't want to call it covering letter. Just going to call it letter. And I'm going to save that. And you'll notice that Google Drive automatically saves those changes. Now, the next thing that I want to show you is how to deal with, with documents that have been shared with you and how you can move them to My Drive, the space that is your personal own storage. Let's take a look. So here's a letter that has been shared with me, Letter to High Tech Systems. Let's quickly open it up. And I see that my boss has very kindly shared this letter with me. He can't spell, though, so let's quickly correct his spelling very kindly just shared this letter with me and asked me to complete it. So what I'm going to do is I can complete this letter, but I'm not going to do that now. I want to show you how I can ch edit its title and put it into my drive. So let's have a look. So as we've shown you before, the first thing I can do is I can edit the title. If I want to, I can write in here that it's uh, my edit, and I can OK that. Now, if I go back to my drive, you'll see that that letter now has its new name. But now I want to move it into my drive. And there are three ways that you can move documents that have been shared with you into your drive. Let me show you. The first way is to select the document that you'd like to move. And either from the More menu or there it is, the Move To item, or using this Move To folder icon, or this big Add to My Drive button, you can move that document to My Drive. What I'm going to do, though, is a much easier way. Click Hold, and I'm simply going to drag this document into My Drive. Now, once that is done, it's in My Drive, and I can file it and organize it exactly the way I want to. So inside My Drive, there is the letter that was originally shared with me. It does indicate that, that it was shared. 
Let me show you one other way that you can move documents that have been shared with you into my drive. Within the document itself, from the file menu, there is also a move to folder option. But the other thing that I want to show that is quite nifty is how to copy a document. That's very simple. In the same file menu, there is this option here to make a copy. Just click on that, and it's going to ask what you'd like to call this new letter. Now, this is a letter that I'm going to write to another company. But I'm going to use exactly the same template. There is my new letter that I've just copied. And if I close those two windows and I go back to my drive, you can see that I now have the new letter sitting there inside the My Drive folder. But what about getting other kinds of documents into My Drive? Well, you can upload any kind of document to your drive, and Google will keep it safe. So it doesn't have to be a Google doc document. It could be a Microsoft Office document, or an Open Office document, or a PDF, or a picture, anything you like. You can use your drive as your own personal cloud storage space. Let me show you how that works. So here are the two ways that you can upload new documents, other kinds of documents, to your drive folder. The first is next to the Create button, there is the Upload button. If you click on that, you're going to get two options, files or folders. So you can upload entire folders of documents if you choose to. But for now, I'm going to upload a file. So click on Files, and then you get your ordinary standard browse uh, dialog box. So the document I want is on the desktop, and it's this new document for Drive. Simply select it, click on Open, and what you get is a dialog box down here showing you the progress of the uploading of this document to Drive. Now, let's take a look at what this looks like when it has been uploaded to Google Drive. Here's the document that I uploaded. Now, you can see that it's got the Microsoft Office uh, icon for Word, which then shows you that it's a different kind of format document to the Google Docs that we've been using so far. But there's another way that you can upload documents to Google Drive that's probably even simpler. Let me show you what I mean. It's a drag and drop method. So I'm simply going to minimize my Google Drive window here. Remember, it's just a browser window. Click and drag this. And you can see that as you drag it into Drive, it's asking if you would like to upload it. And all you need to do is drop the document there, and it will start uploading it as it did before. You can see now, obviously, that I've got two copies of that new document for Drive. Well, that's about all that we've got time for for this lesson. Don't worry if some of this didn't made, make perfect sense to you. We've got a whole bunch more lessons coming up, and I'll be doing a lot of the same stuff again and again. So I hope to see you next time. Cheers.